day, everybody. Uh, instead of a weekly audio, we thought we'd do something a little different. We're going to do a weekly video today. And I'm actually uh, speaking to you from the Capitol. Uh, this is actually room 341. This is the appropriations room where both the House and the Senate vote on the budget. This room has some great history. For your information, this is where the Georgia Supreme Court was until 1950. And as you all know, the legislative session for this year, the General Assembly ended last night, I think just at midnight or just shortly thereafter. Uh, some achievements for our agency during this session. Number one, for next state fiscal year, state fiscal year 15 budget, we're going to get an additional $1.2 million, which will be great for us. In addition to that, there was two pieces of property that were successfully conveyed during this legislative session, both at Warm Springs. Uh, the first is uh, we successfully were able to convey the hospital property at Warm Springs to Georgia Regents University and Health System. And we're also now able to lease the golf course at Warm Springs. And the plan is to lease it to the Georgia Warrior Alliance, who will begin to do some fundraising to restore the course for use for our vocational students, as well as disabled veterans. So it was a great legislative session, and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to talk to you today from here. But that's really not why we're here today. We're here today to talk about uh, you all as the rehabilitation counselors and those of you who support the rehabilitation counselors and how much you have helped us continue to move forward with our mission. Tomorrow, March 22nd, is both national and state of Georgia National Rehabilitation Counselor Appreciation Day. This is actually the proclamation that was issued and signed by Governor Dion. I'd actually like to read this to you. It says, by the governor of the state of Georgia, a proclamation, Rehabilitation Counselors Appreciation Day. Whereas, rehabilitation counselors serve a vital purpose as they assess, provide counseling and support, and plan and implement rehabilitation programs for those individuals in need of such resources. And whereas, professional organizations that offer rehabilitation counseling and education also promote the improvement of these programs with quality education for counselors and research. And whereas various organizations have advocated for up-to-date education and training, as well as the maintenance of professional standards in the field of rehabilitation counseling and education. And whereas on March 22, 1983, Martha Walker of Kent State University, who was then president of the National Council on Rehabilitation Education, testified before Congress and was instrumental in bringing the need for qualified rehabilitation counselors to the nation's attention. Her efforts led to the enactment of laws which require counselors in this field to have proper credentials so that they may provide a higher quality of service to those in need of rehabilitation. And whereas, rehabilitation counselors are indispensable to the well-being of Georgia's citizens providing support and resources to the disabled while also offering comfort to their families. Their valued work impacts countless lives and we are thankful for their service. Now therefore, I, Nathan Deal, Governor of the State of Georgia, do hereby proclaim March 22, 2014 as Rehabilitation Counselors Appreciation Day in Georgia. In witness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the Executive Department to be affixed the 17th day of March in the year of our Lord, 2014. Signed, Nathan Deal. So congratulations to all of our rehabilitation counselors and a, a special thank you for all the hard work that you do as it's mentioned in the proclamation. And I think this also extends to those of you who assist our credentialed rehabilitation counselors, the RAs, the RESs, the RJRSs, the vocational instructors, the counselors of BEP, uh, everybody who touches the lives of the clients we serve. Thank you for all that you do. We really are so grateful to you and you have helped this agency move forward over the last 21 months. We're on a good path. We still have some challenges, but with your help, we will continue to move forward to serve our mission, which is to serve Georgians with disabilities, find employment, and live independent lives. Thank you and I hope you have a great weekend.